Ted, 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 Uncle, uh, cousin Ted, cousin Ted and Betty. But Ted was telling me the story about John Pohl told you personally why he went to Ohio or what happened when he went to Ohio. What took him from Floyd County, Kentucky? It was knowing that Jason was coming. That's what it was. But anyway, John Pohl told you. What did he John, actually tell you? John Pohl told me that uh, when he was living on Coal Branch. Mm -hmm. One night, the uh, policemen, a couple of them came up there to arrest him. The revenueers? Yeah. Uh, Black legs. Uh, he said, uh, if I'm policeman, yeah. come up there and got him, arrested him, and put him in the car coming out of Cold Branch. And they got down to the old Dud Barney place. Oh, that's right. Yep. And uh, they said, we got to stop right here for a minute. And we gotta go in here and get this guy and said, Don't you move. Police car must have not had locks or like they do today. They just said uh, don't move. That back then, you know. They didn't move back then. <laughs> anyway, yeah. it was on her. They said, uh, now John, you stay right here, don't you move. And they didn't lock no doors or nothing. They went in to get this other guy and John said, As soon as they cleared that front door, I hit the hill. <laughs> and he said, uh, they never got me, but said, uh, they had 21 warrants on me when I left the state of Kentucky, and that's when I left. Time to go north for kids. Yeah. Pack up. Wow. I knew why he went, but I didn't know You that. know what John Bowles told me one time? What? I weighed probably about 80 pounds. He said, where do you pull your uh, damn disaster creep meat this little son of a gun I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> yeah, you told me that story yesterday. You ate John Poe's ice cream. I ate his ice cream. He got back and he said, where's our ice yeah. cream? He sent me, gave me some money. That's when Lil Stotson had that old store upstate, right? He said, where the hell would you like to have some ice cream? I said, oh, I'd like that. He get, gets in his pocket and gets me some change and gives it to me. He said, go get you some ice cream. Well, I was walking up through there and I ran into, ran into Gene Williams. And we went up store. Gene said, where are you going? I said, I'm going up here to get me some ice cream. He said, well, I'll go with you and get me some. We went up there and we got a pint a piece. Spent all the money John gave me. Came back down that little shed where the kids waited on the school bus. Sat there and ate every bit. <laughs> Went back to the house and John said, Woody, where's our ice cream? I said, huh? He said, where's our ice cream? Said, you didn't say nothing about our ice cream when I left. He said, here's the ice cream eating this little sucker I was saying. Ice cream told me he, he moved, went to Ohio State with John. Who? Oh, really? Years ago. Did you know that? Stayed with him? And he said that them boys was making fun of him, of Isom or something, and, I, and John went to him and told him that boy is the same as I am and you know what I'll do to you. <laughs> Isom told me that he, he whipped, I don't know. Isom told me that he went to a bar with John up there and they were sitting there in the booth and drinking a beer and uh, this smart Alec come through and everybody come through, take a hold of their cap and pull it down over their eye. And he said, and I said to myself, uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> so they walked up and where John was, took a hold of his hat. He stood up and said he'd come from down here and hit him right in the temple. Oh, that, and that's and where the he there. That's where he left him, landed. That's I heard him tell me that. That's John told me Yeah, that. uh Austin told me, he said, John would always say, hit him in the burr of the ear, they can't stand it. <laughs> He, he always told yeah. me, he said, son, he said, hit, hit yeah. the first lick and hit him in the burr of the ear. And where, where's the burr of the ear? Right, right here, right, right there. In front right, of the in front, right Right where your hair grows out of the ear. Uh-huh. Right, <laughs> the temple, right, right there. Yeah. God, that does hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little pressure on there, boys. Oh, yeah. That would get your attention yeah. or make you lose attention. <laughs> of course, I, I added to it, and if they get up, run like hell. <laughs> <laughs> me and... Uh, Woody? Me and Woody uh, used to put the gloves on the old oh. boxing there up in the backyard there. And I told you this while going. Uh, we'd box I, I caught Woody a good and he went over the hill, got up, and Woody, he said, I quit. And I walked up there, John said, You're a fire thing, you're a fire thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, who was telling me just a couple hours ago about a couple guys piled up? John left a couple guys piled up in the middle of the floor. Yeah, about six, seven of them. And the boy got into arguments, you know, and I guess it, when he called his wife, Ducey, uh, oh. to come and get him. Mm -hmm. Before he got there, the bartender had knocked him in the head. And uh, he went up there and just said, went in there and he had five or six guys crisscross like this stacked up in the middle of the floor, brother. <laughs> yeah. Did Clay Smith and no John Paul? Well, I guess he did. Yeah. Huh. I would think he did. Yeah. Uh, Daly was. Uh, I see. Daly was Clay's. Huh. How was, was Clay Ken to John Paul? Clay, where John was Dilly and your daddy and John brother and sister. Yeah. yeah. So John would have been kin to Clay. Dilly was my name. No. John was his uncle. Okay, it was Clay. See, Clay would have been your distant cousin too, but he died here. He died here. What about last? He, he was some of uh, the Smiths. I told you we've invited Smiths down here to the reunion. They just yeah, come. yeah. He was a cousin. Him and another fellow went through Cary, High. They shot every red light out in Cary, High, turned around, and went back to see if they missed one. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Told me that. Yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. Now, that I never heard. Mm -hmm. I bet there's a lot I never heard. Yeah, I guarantee you, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear it. <laughs> oh, I do. I, yeah. I find it interesting. Oh, God, yeah. Uncle John, you sit and tell them tales, buddy. And, I could do and you told me, my goodness, there's a tale right there. You told me about the Black Legs. Yeah. Them, and well, they were like a vigilante group. Yeah, they were a lot like a KKK or something. And they, and they come to John and Elsie one night. Or they were going. They left switches in front of uh, John's door, mm -hmm. and they were going to whip him. That was they, that was a warning that they were going to whip him. Well, I reckon they shot a lot. Uh, they, uh, I believe, his Daddy tell me that they sharpened both sides of corn knives and took turns sleeping, and they never did get to him. Yeah. Daddy, did you tell him about the one when the Reverend Nurse came home? Yeah. Oh. You got the moonshine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And put the gallon in the stove. Man. Yeah. I didn't get that on this little recording, but what was the thumbnail sketch of that? Who was Elsie and his wife? That's his mom and daddy. You're, yeah. Your mom and dad. Yeah. Making moonshine. No, it's not. John and my dad. Oh, John and your dad. Brother. Yeah. Brother. Okay. My grandfather, John, and his dad. Yeah. My mother's the one took the moonshine out beside the house. Out That's the right, because they knew the revenuers were coming. Right, and uh, she she had this old cook stove with the caps on it. You know, you pick up and didn't have no fire in it. She cooked by it. And she, she picked that one half a gallon, last one up, and took the cap off, stuck it in the stove. And they come down there and uh, raided them. And they found them 18 half a gun and never even found them once you put them in the store. That's the only one that saved out of it. Hmm. Interesting. Do you happen to know, did they ever load moonshine and, and take it places to sell? Or did they just like. And just people, I guess. Uh, people they, local. They had, they had to ride. Because when I, I watched that documentary, uh, Hatfields and McCoys, they'd load trucks up and take them all over up to Chicago. and. No, they didn't do they that. They didn't run that. They just no, sold people local. I wanted it to be in Chicago. It. I would think that if they had a, they sold what they made. Just around here, just like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they sold it to somebody. They called it rheumatism. It cured what ailed you. It wasn't really sold for medicinal. Yeah. Well, yeah. Drink it. Yeah. I call it a campfire starter. Yeah. Get a medicinal starter. When's the last time you had a hit of moonshine? Oh, I don't remember. Fourth of July. Is that right? I had seven flavors. Did you really? I tried, I tried seven different flavors. Was it homebrew or you bought it somewhere? Well, it was, it was uh, moonshine. I saw that. It was good moonshine, then it was bad moonshine, it was cherry moonshine, peach moonshine. Oh, wow. Uh, I forget what else. I remember when I, was here, when I was here last year, you told me it don't taste that bad going down. It's when it hits the bottom of your stomach. Good moonshine. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I, they, oh, have you had it? You've had it? Oh, I, I don't think I've ever had any good moonshine. You don't have any said Oh, well, I've drank good. Does it taste like water? It supposed to taste like water. Yeah, Going down. Don't burn till it hits your stomach. Does it? Don't burn till it hits your stomach. Yeah, tell me a good moonshine, and you know how to yeah. check and see if it's uh, good stuff. Uh huh. Pull oh, yeah, a little bit in a saucer, or a cup, or something. Okay. And let it. If it burns, it's good stuff. Somehow. <laughs> No, no yeah, yeah, I'm not I've laughing. Guys, I believe you. I've seen guys have it and shake it and something about a bead. It's got to be bubbles. Little bead, buddy. Right, the more bubbles, the higher. You the know what I'm talking about, Jason? Oh yeah. The more bubbles. I remember the years ago. It's like a little. Yeah, it's like almost like a little but, hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> These people had. I, it was six or seven quarts, Fourth of July, and we were sampling it and rating it yeah. to what tastes the best. Huh. And I, I don't even drink now, but I, I drank the seven and this little drink, you know. I remember one time he made 55-gallon drum a homebrew. Is that right? You remember that? Nah, I don't talk about it. Oh. <laughs> Especially on camera. Ted, you're my boy, you're Ted. You're trying to send your dad Finn. No, I, I did know. 55 that. gallon. 55 gallon drum of the homemade beer. Me and another guy. You try it? Yeah. No, I was just a boy. I was just a boy. We, uh, I was just a young boy. We, no, we, oh, we no, run that off on <laughs> such things. <laughs> Come time to run it off, you know. Mm -hmm. All these worms and thumb cages and all that stuff. Yes, sir. And we uh, oh, had a car and huh? uh, that. Uh, uh, big drum. Oh, yeah. And it started, uh, it got too hot, and it started this, uh, yeah, two of us uh, on top of it, and it started bouncing. And we got scared and ran away and left it, but it's going to blow up. What is it? And we got back to it and said, two gallons. Two gallons. Two gallons, two gallons Out of the whole drum. Yep. Ooh, wow. That's better than none. After carrying all that sugar and uh, corn and everything <laughs> back in that mountain. Wow. It yeah. right under a big rock <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to check on him one day. Hey, and I got back there and I checked it out and I heard something coming down the end and I said, no, oh, I have to call the run. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mile by being uh, I got just almost to the house and looked behind me and here come that dude. Is that right? That's what it was. It seems like he's pretty tough. He might be able to make it up through the road. Oh my gosh. Did you ever hear him charge me? No. Color. It's where it sits in a barrel, oh, and it'll turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whiskey. Yeah. And that's good. And stuff. it gives, adds ages. a different flavor to it as it ages, and they call it chard. Huh. And uh, man, that stuff will set you up. Oh, 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 oh man, I drank two coffees, little styrofoam cups for one time. Didn't know straight. Up. I mean, I couldn't hardly drink. I'd see three roads and take the middle, <laughs> and just two little cups. Wow. <laughs> Let it sit in a barrel. You seen and it, it you turns seen the color of whiskey. Wow. It's Tennessee, but a lot of fellas run Tennessee it through radiators and cars. I have heard that. And it kills them. Yeah. Yep, I've we'll heard, heard that. You, you got to watch it. There's that show, Shiner, Moonshiners, on TV, and they talked about that, running it through radiators and bad metal. And no matter what they do, they can't get that antifreeze out of that radiator. No That's what. where they mix it. They, they run it off so fast. He's crazy. Good Moonshiner. Now, did you ever have a chance to drink any shine with DJ that you remember? I think yeah. he, he got him. He goes down there and he goes, well, well, he probably did. He, did, he, did, he, did, he, did, uh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Well, that was from Tennessee, though. See, they, out there in Gatlin, they, uh, they, they make it down there. They decide to bring it down there. You go into uh, Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, you can buy it. Yeah, you try to think he was telling me that. I saw him out of the court here. And he bid on it, but he didn't get to bid. The boy from Ohio won it, didn't he? got it. And They were dividing up which one. But it's sealed. It's moonshine. Yeah. And they run it right there. It's legal. They pay yeah, state they pay tax. tax. Oh, yeah. You can see right there. You can take it. Wow. Of course, you know, I guess the more you sell, the worse the better it tastes. <laughs> yeah. The more you drink, the better it tastes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this uh, we was down at Brown's Brothers, and he had, it. It had cherry in it, apple in it, peach in it. And they, I'll tell you. They usually call it ice cream. Some comfort sucks. If you yep. go to buy yeah, it, you it order 
So we yeah, like Dragon Master. Oh, okay. Man, you know, it's called like uh, uh, well, I embarrassed myself out of one of my heroes. Huh. You know when I grew up and I was in every thing. He was in Lexington. I had used to find a little copper worm around the house up there. So we got in here in the sun. I didn't know what they were then, see. Oh. But now I find all this stuff that she make moonshine with. But I didn't know what it was at that time. I can remember the long hard times. Really? You don't happen to have any of that, like kept it for. That'd be something put up on the wall, yeah. I mean, that was just always our laying in the yard. Yeah. I'll tell you what, when you come next year, I'll have you. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Because you got buddies that got buddies. I never It's quiet. It's quiet. You can get it, buddy. It's quiet, ain't daddy. It ain't a. Yeah. They don't advertise. Absolutely. They can't drink yet. They don't advertise, you know. When I was working, I would load my company car every Christmas and head to the headquarters building in Charleston. Those VPs and everybody went crazy over at Moonshine. Oh, I'll bet. And they'd call and place an order, and I took trunk loads of liquor in my company car to Charleston and delivered it to the headquarters building. Oh, wow. If I'd have got fired, I could have got fired. Oh, yeah. But they, the, v, the VPs might have saved me. They liked that liquor. Yeah. I had no guy over in Hurley, Virginia that I might have got fired. They made good stuff. It's a dark. It's on TV. You've seen it probably. Yeah. Yes, I have seen that show. They go in and get a load at night. You seen it? No. They go in. The big guy there. He took a driver around. There you go, Trace. Just see who it was. He had the right connection there. Load that truck up. I forget how many have it gone the world way up there. I like gut rock stuff. This guy driving that truck, he didn't know anybody's name where he was picking it up, and the guy driving. Uh, loading the truck for him and didn't know uh, who so was getting it or nothing like that. Right. They knew nobody. Right, that right. They couldn't tell nobody nothing. Right. Well, I've done that a couple of times, but it wasn't moonshine. It was beer when I was in high school. You need to tell him about the time you feel it. your daddy and his papa went to church and was going to preach. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Remember when you told me? I told me that he went, he went to Big league church up there, you know. And uh, of course, kind of bad nine for me. And uh, went in church, and uh, the guy got up to preach. And, uh, my dad went up there and had a big rock, and each hand laid it up on that podium and said, I'm going to preach tonight. Are you kidding me? And John was sitting back there in the back, and the guy started to get up and go get my dad, his brother. You know. mm -hmm. He got up to go get him, and John grabbed him by the back. And a shirt and pull him back in the street. So where you think you're going? Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Is that right? Did he preach? I'd say I don't know. I imagine. <laughs> he did if he wanted to. Holy <laughs> mackerel. Yes, sir. Somebody was telling me this morning that John Poe was known for going around in the county and saying, ain't nobody can whip me except maybe Elsie. And they were brothers. So they, they were like this, apparently. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's something. You mess with uh, John Poe's uh, village, you might as well mess with him. Yeah, I think they were real thick. Yeah, yep. Well, thanks for taking the time. I find that interesting. <laughs> you fuck me and him look alike. Who? Oh. Me and him. You two? Yeah. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Like, especially like right through here. Yeah. Like the eyes and the forehead. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I can see it. Can you see that chin? I can see it. Look at that chin. Look at her chin. Look at her chin. Look at his chin. Huh. <laughs> no, really though, I, I can see it now. That, yeah. I'm just a lot taller than him. Well, yeah. Yeah. And they tell you some hungry small stories, didn't they? Oh, my God. I, I'm sure there were a lot more where those came from. There are. Later. Hey, we'll see you up to your place in a week.